Hey guys, Editing Kayla here, just coming on to say thank you so much for all of the lovely comments that you all have been leaving on my videos. I got like an influx this week, so I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching, subscribing, supporting, the whole nine. I love all of you so, so much. You're my doves and enjoy the vlog. Hello everyone, today is Wednesday. I'm vlogging midday because I went to the art museum and the mall today. You're welcome.
so yeah that was a lot of fun i got to just chill and they were playing childish gambino in there and i was like mm. you know i freaking love childish gambino i listened to his new single today just just very good i love that man so talented and as you can see, I got an acai bowl from a family-owned restaurant that's kind of popped up there in the past few months. And I went there like last month and got an acai bowl and it was pretty good. And they coat the inside of the container, as you can see in the clips, with Nutella. So good. Very sugary though, not gonna lie. Now I think I'm gonna go to my great grandma's house and spend some time with her because it is her birthday so i'm gonna vlog as much as i can there might chill and watch love island on my tablet while i'm there also married at first sight new season is coming out like houston texas so excited so now i have love island and married at first sight and i'm just like i'm feeling it like yes give me all of the reality tv show goodness if you don't watch love island or married at first sight and you're older than the age of 18 i definitely recommend i wanted to hate them really badly because i wanted to hate reality tv but apparently i just don't and it's just very fascinating for me and uh, let's go to grandma's house wow. We are at grandma's house and I was just inside chilling, talking, but it is so beautiful outside. Like look at these flowers. They're so pretty. Oh, someone just pulled up. Uh, I'm not getting embarrassed, but it is really pretty out here. And I wanted to show y'all just a little bit of her outside, so nice. I'm gonna go inside now and pretend I wasn't just talking to a camera by myself. Enjoy the clips that I get from tonight. Okay, so that was really freaking scary. Pulled straight up to the nail salon and the car starts beeping at me. The car says it's low on fuel. I say, oh no, oh no. So I, I like pulled up to the nail salon and I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna go in. And then I sat there for a second in the middle of the road, mind you. So people were probably about to honk at me. But I sat there for a second and I was like, this is gonna bother me until I get out of this nail salon and I don't wanna be bothered. I wanna enjoy my time there. So I turned my little butt around and pulled back up to the gas station, said, nope, not today, not gonna get bothered today. Now I'm going to go back to the nail salon, actually go inside this time and, um, get a mani-pedi a cute little mani-pedi i'm thinking of getting like french designs so cue the nail salon montage <laughs> Yeah. 
These are my fingernails. Super cute. I usually don't like like square shaped nails, but these are really cute. Pretty much every time I get my nails done ever now, I just get them like French tip. But the last time I went and got my nails done was like some years back. But now I'm going to go to Dunkin' because I am super, 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 super hungry. I will show y'all what I get from there. Hi. Bye, Dunkin'. Okay, so I have never tried Duncan's poppin' bubbles, but girl, why it looks so good? She looks fantastic. So we're gonna give her a whirl. Um, it's just regular lemonade with the strawberry poppin' bubbles. And then this straw, honey. <laughs> it's so huge. Ooh, it's kinda hard to actually, I broke the top. Is shall. I like the taste of the lemonade. Let me get some more bubbles. The bubbles are pretty good. This is a nice, like, refreshing little drink. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant because I'm starving, as I mentioned before. y'all so i am on the way to church i am actually going to the leadership meeting today which is really exciting um a couple months ago i signed up to like volunteer as a part of the social media team at church and this will be my first time like going to a leadership meeting i'm not really nervous actually i'm not nervous i feel like i'm a pretty nice person i feel like i'm pretty nice and good to get along with and outgoing so i think that i'll be fine i think it'll be a fun new experience i'll get to meet new people like oh i don't get to meet new people like y'all i i don't meet new people very often i don't do very social things so this is like me trying to get out there a little bit more and especially in like using my skills like social media for jesus you know for 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 praising the lord praising the universe you know giving back a little bit so yeah that's what i'm gonna go do so i'm gonna show you all what the night holds i'm gonna go to that meeting and then i'm going to actually do the actual church service get a smoothie bowl because they have free smoothie bowls after and i think tonight's gonna be like a, a musical night like a a like a music festival. Yeah. Okay, see you at church. feeling this week while I put on my moisturizers. <laughs> this week I've just been feeling really relaxed obviously because I don't have work and I work an internship part-time but it's like day near full-time really and it's like an office 
9 to 5, more like 8 to 5. Um, but it's remote. So basically just getting a break from that has really given me some time to like think about what I actually like to do with my time and what I actually want to do with my life. And especially as a young person, it's hard to like sit at a computer all day every day and just be like oh yeah like this is what I'm doing because I don't know like where all of my passions lie I don't know what career I'm interested in entirely so working like a full-time job this summer has just felt like a waste of time honestly I mean I've been making good money but it's felt like a waste of my time creatively. I feel like I am becoming more and more proud of my work here, like on YouTube and on Instagram. I'm figuring out what mediums I like to use to tell a story. Cause I, I don't, I don't feel like I'm like an influencer in the way where I just kind of like make content that surrounds me and like everything in my life, you know, like everything, obviously I try not to focus everything on me, but you know, it's, it's really weird here on YouTube because it's literally supposed to be content about you technically, but like, I'm just, I'm starting to learn and understand like what I like to include in my videos, what kind of tone I'd like for my videos to have sometimes and just like the way that I'd like to tell a story. I, I've just been feeling more into that format rather than just like taking you guys. I mean it's fun to take you guys along to like the store and stuff and like shop but like actually I don't know doing something that surrounds what I actually love which is like film and and storytelling and stuff like that. Um, I feel like I have been kind of growing in that area, at least in the past like couple of weeks because I haven't had to dedicate so much time and energy uh, to work. I also feel like I'm becoming a little more comfortable with the fact that I may never get any kind of recognition for um what i post online i mean obviously you're here watching this right now but you know like i'm starting to become more comfortable with the fact that you know thousands of people aren't going to see my videos or at least you know it's not something that i can control you know I've kind of felt in the past that like I can control it by the quality of my content or what I post, if it's trendy, you know, like, but that's not helping me grow as like a creator, as an artist. Um, and I feel like I've been a lot more proud of what I'm making because of that. I've noticed that like I'll come across creators, quote unquote, quote quote unquote or like influencers who create things but it's very mediocre and they have no personality you know no offense to them but it's like you guys have seen it i'm sure and it really doesn't have much thought or effort put into it and it's kind of very um like broadcast networky, you know how broadcast networks like ABC or NBC have their stuff that's very like robotic and like pretty much the same most of the time. Um, I feel like a lot of that lives on the internet and I really don't want to be a part of that. And those people are the people who are getting the hundreds of thousands of views. And that's just not where I really want to be. That's not how I want my videos to be appreciated. I want people to, to, I don't know, feel something or like come away with some new idea or um, understand my perspective on things or understand other people's perspectives on things. So I feel like I'm just kind of grounding myself a little bit, figuring out um, what I wanna make, how I wanna make it, 
and the story that I actually want to tell and not just like throwing a bunch of random aesthetic clips together and calling it good because I feel like that's just not, it's not actual storytelling, you know? Um, I think it's fun to kind of show how I see the world um, and like my perspective on things and you know what I find to be beautiful not necessarily like the norms of what is beautiful like this this space here this lighting uh this painting in the background and me not showing the entire painting in the background it's something that I kind of just put my phone up here and I was like okay does this look good and it looked beautiful to me it it's it's something that I wanted to share. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to be a little more intentional about what I'm making, how I'm making it, what I'm showing to you all, what I'm sharing with you all. And I don't know, I just hope that at least one person in this world um, can see it and it can make them feel good inside or something. So that's, that's my little spiel. Okay, there's like one more thing that I wanted to share. I just feel like, um, you know, with the f platforms that we have, when we're creating content, we just feel like we should adhere to whatever the platform says is good content. But like, to me, some of the best content that I've ever seen has been the most underappreciated. And some of the most beautiful content that I come across is underappreciated and it isn't like seen by hundreds of thousands of people because it's not pushed up to the trending list on these platforms so i don't know it's kind of like a rage in me a little bit and it kind of makes me just want to rebel completely against like everything that the platforms call good like youtube thinks that because someone watches the content for a longer amount of time or because the video is longer and someone watches it like all the way through it's a good video but like that's not good content it's just to say that like someone could put in so much more effort or make so much more beautiful content and because someone didn't like it or didn't watch it all the way through YouTube wouldn't like push it to a trending page more people wouldn't see it even though it could touch so much more people in a more meaningful way if that makes sense and it's not just like filler content I feel like there's so much filler content there's so much stuff that we watch like even myself that we watch and we like that isn't really worth anything or isn't like adding value to our lives it's just kind of like stuff to just you know watch if that I don't know if that makes sense and I feel like I feel like the fact that we watch those things it drowns out some of the content that would actually help us or be more meaningful to us or I don't know make us feel better as human beings but you know who am I just a tiny little internet creator um with a strong opinion I guess me having a small following doesn't undervalue my opinion um it just makes it a lesser heard one so yeah all right I'm gonna stop rambling about content in the internet and blah blah blah